Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm your host, The King, and welcome back to the channel. Nonstop, you guys have requested for me to bring back your two favorite series, fan-made chapter ideas, and the most requested killers to come into Dead by Daylight. So in today's video, we're going to hit two birds with one stone and bring them both to you guys in one episode on what is potentially the hottest topic in Dead by Daylight right now, Pennywise. If you guys do enjoy this video at any time, make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe for some more Dead by Daylight content. We have a lot of things coming in the future and I would highly appreciate it if you guys hit the subscribe button. We also are currently live on Twitch, so if you want to show some extra support, please go ahead and click on the link down in the description. It's also currently on screen. Every single day we're getting closer to partnership thanks to the help of everyone and I couldn't be more appreciative of you guys. Regardless, I digress. Let's go ahead and talk about this Pennywise chapter. Keep in mind, this is not confirmed. This is just all fan speculation on what a Pennywise chapter could look like. This is going to shed some more light into the actual chapter creation. And hey, you never know, maybe the developers even take a look at this video and it gives them a second idea if they should bring Pennywise or even if they should bring some of these perks. I'm sure you guys all know about the Pennywise hype, about all the leaks and everything. We've been talking about it nonstop as well. We don't know if this is going to come, but it is nice to see what would happen if this actually came out. So in today's video, as I said, we're going to be looking at a fan-made creation of what Pennywise could be. Now this is actually posted on the Dead by Daylight forums by a user named Deathsia. Now all credit goes to them, I'll leave this forums post in the description, you guys can take a look. I was going through the forums to see if there's anything that was good for Pennywise and they made a pretty nice one. So all credit goes to them, again make sure you check it out, the link will be in the description. But what we're going to do is go ahead and read along of what they wrote. So let's jump on in to Pennywise. He's a standard killer with 115% movement speed with a 32 meter tear radius and he's pretty tall. His power is called fair. Each survivor's fair of it gives it power which only grows as each survivor becomes more and more afraid of Pennywise. Each survivor starts with an empty fair gauge at the start of the trial and for every second Pennywise is in chase with a survivor or survivors, the gauge begins to fill and for every 20 seconds Pennywise chases the survivor, they go up a fair tear, up to three tears in total. The first tear is as follows. Survivors have a low chance to stumble while in chase, briefly slowing them down for half a second. Additionally, if the survivor stuns Pennywise by any means, the stun time is reduced by 10%. In Tear 2, survivors have a moderate chance to stumble while in chase, briefly slowing them down for one second. Additionally, if the survivor stuns Pennywise by any means, the stun is reduced by 30%. And finally, at Tear 3, survivors have a very high chance to stumble while in chase, briefly slowing them down for 1.5 seconds. Additionally, if the survivor stuns Pennywise by any means, the stun time will be reduced by a total of 50%. So this is essentially the passive power of Pennywise, and similar to Freddy, you have a gauge, and over time while you're in chase, your gauge will go higher and higher. If you're in tier 3, the maximum penalty is that you can actually stumble, which will cause you to slow down similar to getting hit by a clown's gas bottle. And if you toss a pallet onto Pennywise, the stun is reduced by 50%, which essentially is enduring. His secondary power is as follows. Your worst fear comes to life. At the beginning of the match, one survivor is picked at random and starts at tier 3 fear for 60 seconds and Pennywise appears as the killer of the player that has been killed or sacrificed the most during this time. Additionally, if Pennywise hooks a survivor for any survivor within a 32 meter radius of the hook survivor, at this time it will set their fare to fare level 3 for 60 seconds, after which their fare level is reduced to what it was prior unless they are being chased. At this point, their fare level will be returned to normal after every escape or after every down. Survivors can reduce their fare level by performing cooperative actions together. Simply standing within the range of another survivor will not reduce their fare. For every 30 seconds a survivor performs a cooperative action together, their fare level is reduced by 1. This action is also cumulative, meaning 
it stacks over time. Now Pennywise, of course, is going to come with three unique perks. The first one is, they all float down here. At the start of the match, the basement hooks are revealed to the killer for 30, 60, and 120 seconds, and any survivor who enters the basement during this time is revealed to the killer and is overcome with crippling fear, crying out, and rendering unable to move or act for 10, 15, and 20 seconds. If stuck by the killer, they can move again unless they're downed. So this perk is pretty strong. If anybody goes in the basement, they're pretty much dead. It's kind of like territorial. It will definitely need some tweaks as it's really, really strong. But for an opening perk, it's nice to think about. The next perk is Hiya Georgie. If the killer spots a survivor from up to 24, 32, or 40 meters from them and the survivor is not looking at them, for up to 3 seconds their aura is revealed to the killer for 5, 10, and 15 seconds. The survivor is given an audio cue that their aura has been revealed to the killer at this time. So essentially, if you see a survivor and you stare at them for more than 3 seconds and a survivor does not see you, their aura will be revealed for a maximum of 15 seconds. Now this perk can work really good on other killers such as the Huntress, killers that rely on your aura, this would be pretty nice for them. And finally we have I'll Feed on Your Fear. While in its chase with a survivor, the time to obtain each bloodlust tear is reduced by 3, 5, and 7 seconds, which these numbers are a little bit obscure, but it's nice to think about if your bloodlust would go a little bit faster. I know a lot of bloodlust gamers will use this perk. And finally, to wrap up this Pennywise chapter, we actually have some add-ons. One of them is Bloody Balloon. Balloons are placed on all generators in the trial. When a survivor fails a skill check, the balloon pops increasing the fear level of all survivors who are working on the generator by one. The next one is Horrifying Photograph. When Pennywise downs a survivor, all survivors within 32 meters of him will have their fair level increased by 1 unless they succeed in a moderately difficult skill check that can appear anywhere on the screen. And finally is Deadlight Ascents. Once Pennywise reaches Bloodlust level 1, he becomes invisible to all other survivors except the one that he is currently chasing. This effect persists for 3 seconds after the chase ends. So there you go, a well-created chapter by Dead Sia. Make sure you go and check this out. Give it some love and give him some comments on what you think. Obviously, this chapter does need some tweaks to actually make it on into a game, but it is pretty solid. I hope you guys did enjoy this video as well on what Pennywise could potentially be in Dead by Daylight. It's awesome to think about these things. Obviously, there's arguments on if we're even going to get Pennywise. Who knows? By the time you're watching this video, maybe he is already in the game or maybe he isn't and the new chapter is already announced. Regardless, we're not here to talk about that. We're just here to speculate on what could be. As always, I'm the King. Make sure you do leave a like if you did enjoy at any point. Subscribe for some more Dead by Daylight content with those notifications on. And as always, I am live on Twitch, so be sure to come out and show some support. As always, I'm the King. I tip my crown to you guys. We'll see you in the fog. Take care.